Our best hitter, five points under 200. For Jeff Bagwell, the bad news is he's hitting only 205. The good news is he's been showing some signs of life to get his average even that high. Is it a question of mechanics or is it an age-old problem? Is Jeff Bagwell, who signed a four-year, $27.5 million contract in the offseason, trying too hard to justify the big bucks? Bob Serkin reports. 1994, Jeff Bagwell's breakthrough season. A first-time All-Star, Gold Glove winner, and National League MVP. But so far, 1995 has been a completely different season. Bagwell strikes out. Bagwell strikes out. He's really upset at himself. What's going on here? How can you go from a 368 batting average and 39 home runs with 116 runs batted in one season, then start the next season struggling to hit 200? Everybody looks at it as like, oh my God, he's lost all his skills, he can't play no more, big contract, he's done. But that's not the truth, it's just the fact this is baseball and it's a crazy game and these kind of things happen. Complicating the problem may be Bagwell's unorthodox, unforgiving batting stance, a wide open low crouch. When you're in a lower open stance, your first move is you want to come up. And when you come up, your eyes move, makes the ball move. His swing is unorthodox. It's, it's, uh, it's, he's got a lot of mechanical things to it. He's got a lot of timing mechanisms to it. As he starts his swing, his head's coming off a little bit, and he's not really following the flight of the ball, where last year he was on every pitch. I hit one way, and I've been successful that way, and I'm not going to change it. And I will be successful again that way, too. Bagwell, a workaholic, has spent weeks taking extra batting practice before and after games. He has also spent hours analyzing video of his swing, all to no avail. I do take the responsibility that I am the guy that is supposed to produce a lot of the runs that I am not doing right now, and that's part of, that is the reason why we haven't scored as many runs, because I haven't been doing my job. I have no reason to believe that his left hand is bothering him. People think, well, he had a broken hand, take some time. I had a broken hand the year before, and I won the MVP last year, so, I mean, I don't know if that has anything to do with it. There are those who believe Bagwell is pressing to prove he's worth his four-year, $27.5 million contract, making him the highest-paid player in franchise history. I'm not trying to prove that I'm worth, you know, my contract or prove that I'm an MVP. I'm trying to prove my worth to this team that I need to go out and get get the job done everyone around Jeff Bagwell thinks they've pinpointed his problem too much pressure from being last year's unanimous MVP choice to too much crouching in the batter's box but no one knows better than Jeff Bagwell as to what's really wrong when I step I step open but my whole key is my shoulder if my shoulder stays square to the plate and stay square to the pitcher then I'm gonna be okay and he's into his home run trot right now. The ball soars well over the scoreboard. This is last year. Right. See my shoulders square. It's kind of coming at the pitcher this way. Same. This one's a little bit better. This is recently, some, which is getting better. <laughs> but this, this is kind of going, this is earlier, 14th of May, where it, my body is going this way, almost towards the shortstop. And that's when you have no bat speed. You can't, you can't get the head of the bat to the ball. You pull off, and, you know, and that's what I do. When I go bad, I pull off the ball. As Bagwell struggles, opposing pitchers know he can break out at any time. He's one of the best hitters in the game, and uh, regardless of how he's hit, say the last his last 30 or 40 bats, we still we still push to him with a lot of respect. They can get me out for a month, but there's going to be a time when you know, uh, pretty soon here, when, when people aren't real excited to see me come up to the plate. Until that time, Jeff Bagwell keeps searching for his swing of last year and keeps struggling to climb out of the worst slump of his career. From the Houston Astrodome, Bob Serkin, ESPN. So for Jeff Bagwell, this must be the season of the whiff. Last year, he struck out only 65 times all year. So far this season, Bagwell continues to struggle, striking out roughly once every three at-bats while getting a hit only twice every 10 at-bats. SportsCenter will continue.